<laughs> what a question. Colonel Felix Kulaiji has been the face and mouthpiece of Uganda People's Defense Forces for over seven years, a record considering his tenure of his predecessors. The flamboyant colonel has built up a relationship with the media and is likely to be missed by the fourth estate. Saturday's reshuffle promoted him to head the political commissar desk in the UPDF. The final months of his tenure have been blemished by trigger-happy soldiers firing and killing civilians. He now challenges his successor, Lieutenant Colonel Paddy Ankunda, to clean the image. He's taking over when there, there have been spots about those killings in Bombo, uh, in, in Ruzira. Those have uh, checked our image in the public domain. He has to rectify that. His seven years as army spokesperson have seen him defend the institution role in the political transition from the movement system to multi-party politics, the political transition in the two Sudan, and the deployment of UPDF soldiers to Somalia to fight the Al-Shabaab Islamist terrorists. We battled with the politics of the day because some people thought you are a better politician when you provoke the military. You would hit the headlines if you spoke about the UPDF in the negative way. And uh, our responsibility, and I in particular, was to engage the public to put the right picture. This is not the first time for Lieutenant Colonel Paddy Ankunda to take shot at the Army spokesperson job. He stepped in for Colonel Kulaiji during the latter's one-year study leave at Nairobi. Paddy Ankunda has also twice spoken for African Union mission in Somalia, Amisum, where the UPDF is engaged in fostering peace. He happened to be the most uh, visible person to take over. I'm the one who recommended him then. I'm glad the leadership has brought him back. This time I didn't have a hand in it. But uh, so it's not about Ankunda Kulaiji, it's about who is next in line. Both men appear ready for their new assignments. <sighs> to tell you the truth, I have never been as intimidated as I am now. Even when I was pursuing RLA, to me that was a normal thing. But this job is very big, it, it, it requires digging in. This is not a territory that is not familiar to me. I've been in this position before. I'll give this my best shot. Jordan Mwangizi, NBS Television.